Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. This video is finally here. It's my boat reveal. I'm super excited. Uh, it's early in the morning because Chris got in late last night. He towed the boat down from Minnesota. 18, 19 hours. What a champ. And he's going to stay here. He's going to fish with me a few days. And we're going to gear this boat up. We're going to install all of my electronics, my batteries. We got a lot of rigging to do. My, my garage has been kind of a mess. All my fishing gear, all the stuff in my boat's been just laying here in my garage. But I got it organized, ready to dump in this boat. And we're going to hook up all of my graphs, my electronics, make sure they work. Uh, some of them survived the wreck, I think. We're gonna test them out. Haven't really been able to test them out, but the screens didn't break on some of them. And as long as they didn't get rattled too hard, they'll probably still work. I noticed my live scope transducer has a nick in the cable. It's sliced uh, all the way down one side, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work. They, it, I would need a whole new live scope transducer. If it does not work, we're gonna test it out on the water this week. But you guys ready to see the boat? Here you see it. I'm so excited. It's so early. Uh, Chris and my wife still sleeping. I had to come out here. I'm going to start working on this boat, start rigging it up. But I wanted to show it to you guys the way it is right now before we start rigging it up. So here it is, the big boat reveal. Check it out. Check it out. Here we go. There it is, guys. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. You guys sent in some awesome boat names, uh, and I'll be selecting two winners at the end of this video who won from the live video I did, won a Dollar Jerky Club box and a Mystery Tackle box. So stay tuned till the end of this video. But here it is, guys. I'm so excited. It is a 20 and a half foot bass cat. It's a Puma. It's got a 250 on it. It needs a tiny bit of TLC. It's a 2007, so it's one year older than my Stratos, but it's definitely an upgrade. I'm so excited. It's a, a foot bigger than my Stratos. It's got a 250 instead of a 200, and it's sharp. It's my colors too. I wanted a boat that had white and red, and God just opened every door for me to get this boat. It's amazing. So Chris actually bought this boat for somebody else, and they went through just a situ situation in life where they couldn't buy it. And he was stuck with it. And he's been trying to sell it for this, this for a whole year. I don't know why he hasn't, uh, or why it hasn't sold, but being up in Minnesota, there's not as many bass fishermen, a lot of walleye guys, but this is awesome. It's like one of my dreams to own a bass cat. I fished out of one in college and it's just a sharp looking boat. So very excited, 2007, but here it is. We're gonna do a full walkthrough. So much more storage space than my other boat. What's cool about these bass cats, they have a net compartment. You stick your net in there. Tackle up front, more tackle, two big rod lockers. It's got a day box, which I didn't have in my Stratos, a cooler. Gotta replace the lock on the cooler, we, we have it. Just gotta throw it on. It's got a dual console. My wife is gonna love that, and you can take it on and off, but we'll probably end up leaving it off for now and maybe putting the dual console on uh, later on here. And check it out, ripped seats. You guys have been dogging me from the get-go on the ripped seats in my Stratus. I got ripped seats in the Bass Cat. Nah, he, he brought new seats. He's got new seats he already had for it. So I don't know if we're going to put the new seats on in this video. We might. We might put the new seats on. But in this video, you're going to see me rigging it up. We're going to rig it all up. But new seats. Seats that aren't ripped anymore. I'm excited. It's got three gas tanks, guys. One here in behind the seats. One over here on this side and one on that side. Three. My Stratos had one gas tank, it was 28 gallons. In a tournament, I could barely run an hour each way without running out of gas and I had to fill up mid-tournament, waste time. Not anymore, it's gonna be like 250 bucks to fill this up with gas. But, not gonna have to stop and fill up mid-tournament anymore. 
Oh, I'm excited. We got powerful blades, red, they match the boat. We got 250 Mercury Optimax. Got to get new decals for it. Um, he said they were kind of scuffed up, so he took them off a while back and was meaning to put new decals on it. It's got hydraulic uh, jack plate. The, let's see, yeah, super excited. Check this side out. It's just a sharp looking boat. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be putting a 12 inch unit right here and that's gonna be my Garmin. And then I'm gonna be putting my 10 inch unit up here with my folding mount somehow. I gotta figure out the layout I want up here. Um, and then it's got a motor guide trolling motor right now, but I have a Garmin Force trolling motor ordered. Insurance covered it. So that was a blessing. We're gonna be using this one to fish for now till that one comes in. Who knows how long it's on back order for, but I'm gonna miss spot lock for the time being, that's for sure. Check these trailers out. It's got to step up. Don't have to strain yourself getting up in your boat anymore. I like that about Bass Cats. And just super awesome boat. Bass Cats a Christian company too. Uh, go to their Facebook page. Their cover photo has a Bible verse on it. It's just amazing. Happy to support a company like that and give them some promotion. But not with Bass Cat or anything, but I've, I just love Bass Cats. So I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think about my new boat. And... We're going to announce the name of the boat at the end of this video. We're going to announce the winners to the giveaway. So stay tuned. We're going to do some rigging here. Show you guys what all we're installing real quick. And hopefully get to fishing. So I'm super pumped. But thank you guys so much for your support thus far. Let's get to rigging. Okay, we just got the lithiums installed and my cranking battery installed down in there. So, troll motor's hooked up, 36 volt. This is my first time hooking up a 36 volt. And now we're taking off the units he had on here. This is Chris Jewett, by the way, guys. How you doing? Good. Awesome. Chris was kind of my mentor. Fishing, tournaments, college, helped the Northwest Missouri State University Fishing Club out a ton. And now you move up to Minnesota. Yeah. Yep. So, fishing for them smallies. <laughs> <laughs> you love chasing those smallies. Addicted. It's an addiction. Addicted. It's yeah. Affliction or an addiction. <laughs> so he's helping me out. We're we're wiring everything. We're gonna start on the graphs now. Do the console one first, and we're gonna pull these old wires out. But at the same time, we're going to electrical tape to the new wires I'm gonna be putting in. So one motion, pulling them all through, have our old wires out, new wires ran, doing the same thing up here. So that's what we're working on next. Thing. About an hour and a half this morning, took a break, put in about three hours this afternoon. Chris has been helping me, and we made some really good headway. We're actually two wires short of finishing it. My ones I had on my Stratus weren't long enough. I guess, you know, it's a foot longer and it's probably a little wider and it just wasn't long enough. So we got all of our transducers on the troll motor here, down imaging, side imaging, got our hydro wave on here and I did not mount my live scope. That's one we're holding off on. I got this one up here right next to the foot pedal and then my folding live scope mount. It's gonna go down in this little cavity right here and it'll fold down. And I'll fold it up before I start fishing. Got the hydrowave installed, wires ran, the black box installed for the live scope. You guys sometimes ask me where I put that. So here it is. Check it out. Right down up against 
the rod locker wall there. I don't know if you can see it, it's a little dark. But I got my wires ran for live scope. I just need two more wires to connect in this compartment. And I need to hook the transducer up and the graph up. But we gotta want the console here hooked up. So I got a ram mount installed. There was like a little seven inch unit right here and some sort of makeshift plate. So I'm gonna have a plate made to cover that or I might, uh, I don't know, put a stereo in or something right there. We got our wires going in into there. So I'll have to cut out a little hole and it's gonna be a good little setup. Driving, graph right there, super close, super handy. Uh, when you're graphing ledges and stuff like we're going to be doing this summer. Maybe even the next couple videos with Chris. We'll see. See where these fish are. Got to tighten it up. Got all the lithiums installed. And I ordered a Minn Kota Precision 4-bank charger. You need that, the AGM setting, the charger with AGM setting to charge lithiums. And this one is such an old 4-bank charger. It does not have AGM. So, we're going to be installing that in one of the next videos probably. But, all my lithiums are charged. We're going to get out fishing tomorrow like it sits now. I don't know. We might. We're going to go eat some dinner. We might pick up another wire and, and hook up live scope tonight. But, Battleborn lithiums are amazing. If you guys are in the market for lithium batteries, they're so much lighter. You guys ask me all the time how they perform. And they perform great. I love them. So, I, I have... What? Yeah, yeah, I know it. Um, I have one lithium running all my electronics, my hydrowave, my graphs, my live scope, my power poles, you name it. And then a 36 volt trolling motor. So right now, three lithiums are running the trolling motor. I have the Garmin Force trolling motor ordered. So I don't know if I said that earlier in the video, but. We're gonna be putting it on 24 volt. It has a switch you can do 24 or 36 volt. And then I got my cranking battery installed. Chris brought down some new seats. We're gonna be putting those in. So, hope you enjoyed the reveal video. Now we are going to jump ahead and pick the winners of those two giveaways. So, let's go. Ended up getting on the water, tested out my live scope transducer. It had a nick in it. Somehow it survived the crash and it works. So, got my cornfield gear mount installed back on the boat with my live scope folding mount. I've shown it to you before. You just pull out this little pin and it folds down just like that. But I'm gonna just leave it up for now. Ah, well, let's fold it down. Why not? Fold it down, locks in place. Just like that. I need it down when I pull out of here next anyway. And then I got this graph all installed. You saw that already. But we're gonna get to the giveaway here. So two of my favorite names that you guys guessed for the bass boat. And then I'm gonna tell you what we actually named it. But my first uh, suggestion, the first winner is Nordby's Ark. I thought that was awesome. It's like Noah's Ark. Um, that's not what we're naming it, but you win a Dollar Jerky Club box. And then the second favorite name, uh, we got some good ones in here. The Slaunch Factory, uh, you got, let's see, the Upright, there were some good ones, Faith Rider. But the next one that I'm picking to win, this is the Mystery Tackle Box, is Crash Money by Rick Collins. So. Uh, reach out to me on social media uh, at Andrew Nordby and send me your address and we'll get that shipped out to you. Crash Money and Noah's or Nordby's Ark. Those are the two winners of the name giveaway. And I'm also going to go ahead and give away that Dollar Jerky Club box to uh, my last video, Shiner Fishing. I gave one away. And so the person who won that by guessing the weight of the fish we caught three pounds, two ounces. Circle M Ranch is the winner of that. So again, reach out to me on social media and you guys will be sent the Dollar Jerky Club box and the Mystery Tackle box. But I'm excited guys, super excited. So there is the boat. It's been a long time coming, it's been a long time coming. But I'm excited to get back out there, fish tournaments. Let me know if, uh, 
if you like the boat. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. See us fishing in it. We're going to get out of here. God bless you. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.